This woman's name is Jade Jinx. She's a 39-year-old interior designer from California, and she was also convicted of murdering her stepfather after she discovered a disturbing secret he was keeping. This is the sad story of Jade Jinx. I'm sure you're wondering why a beautiful, successful woman would do something like this. Well, to fully understand how things deteriorated to murder, we have to go back to Jade's earlier years. So when Jade was 10 years old, her parents divorced and it had a pretty negative effect on her. But two years later, her life took a pivotal turn when her mother remarried this man. His name is Tom Merriman. Now, as far as Jade was concerned, Tom Merriman was pretty great, actually. For Jade, their new family unit was idyllic. Jade trusted Tom and went to him for support and guidance. And Tom treated Jade as if she were his own daughter. That's not to say that Jade's mom and Tom didn't have problems. Like, they actually wound up divorcing and remarrying several times, but despite this, Jade and Tom's relationship always remained strong. Jade wound up growing up to be pretty fabulous. She was a beautiful, ambitious woman who had a passion for interior design and was, like, ready to take on the world. But Tom Merriman's life took more of a troubled trajectory. As he got older, he battled more seriously with alcoholism and an addiction to sleeping pills. So Jade, being the wonderful stepdaughter that she is, as a young professional, decided to move to the house next door to Tom so that she could care for him. Which is very lovely and caring, but I don't know if I could do it. But it really is just a testament to how much she loved him. But this is where the record scratches, because that all changed in December of 2020. While Jade was cleaning Tom's house one day, she made a horrific discovery on his computer. She discovered that her stepfather's screensaver was a nude photo of her from years prior. And as she dug deeper, she discovered hundreds of nude and explicit images of her, and a lot of them were taken before she was 18. And something inside of Jade snapped. Instead of going to the authorities with this information, she decided to plot revenge. She even texted a friend to help her take Tom out. That text thread would later come back to haunt her, by the way. Which brings us to December 30th of 2020. Jade picked Tom up from a rehab facility one day and gave him a ton of alcohol and sedatives. And while he was in and out of consciousness, she put a plastic bag over his head. And it turned out that wasn't working, so she used her bare hands and took his life. Only the next day, the police found Tom Merriman's body outside of his home, buried under a pile of garbage. Jade initially denied any involvement, but there was so much evidence that implicated her. Like her cell phone data and her text messages painted a vivid timeline of the plot. Jade's trial started nearly two years after Tom passed away. Prosecutors asserted that Jade's motive was rage after she discovered all of the photos on Tom's computer. Now, Jade never denied what she had done, but she did say that she never intended to take Tom's life. It was just a situation that spiraled out of control. She described feeling violated and betrayed by someone she considered a father, and said she suffered trauma and emotional distress for years. And for whatever reason, her lawyers didn't use this as a defense. After a very brief deliberation from the jury, Jade was found guilty of first-degree murder. Jade was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. She'll be eligible for parole in 25 years when she's 64, which is actually the same age Tom was when she took his life. 